all. Top three deal breakers. My first is... Welcome back to my channel. And I joined her channel, but hey to my supporters as well. We are going to film a video together today. We're having a little girls night in. Yes. Rihanna made us some cheesecake and it is so freaking good. So we were <laughs> like, we definitely need to just like get on camera together. Um, you know, we've been going out together a lot more. She's in Charlotte. I've made yet another really, really good friend. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have the same interests. Like she has a channel and I have a channel. So we're like, let's just sit together, have a girls night in, turn the cameras on and just like chat it up. Yeah. Learn a little bit more about each other in a specific category tonight, right? Yes. Exactly. And then so <laughs> you're going to learn a little bit more about us and we're going to learn about each other. So let's just do dating 101. Yeah. And I feel like Shit that you just have learned from relationships that you've been in. Yeah. <laughs> the relationships that you see for yourself in the future. Like, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. do's and don'ts. Okay. Yeah. All questions are okay. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. What's what? Good? Okay. What's your longest relationship? Mm. Wow. My longest relationship. I think my longest relationship was a year and a half. Mm. And that was a while ago. Uh, my previous relationship lasted literally exactly a year and like a week or two. It just like always hits that year mark and then something happens. It's just that like people just start revealing themselves, girl. That that mask comes off and then you're like, damn. Why did I not see this? Before? Yeah. Like, am I just seeing this? Did I miss something before? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think my longest relationship was four years and some change. Ooh, you got some yeah. skin in the game. Girl, I also have a kid in the game. <laughs> so that really might be what it was, what it is. I yeah. definitely stayed a little longer. I feel like the relationship was over far before that, but you know, I was just like pushing through. Trying to figure it out, doing what I have to do. Yeah. Speaking of don'ts, it's a don't. Put the X, put the red X over here. It's a, that's the first don't. You don't stay for kids. And when the relationship, you feel like the relationship is ending, don't also don't stay because like you feel like you've invested a lot of time. Yeah. Like that is not a reason yeah. to stay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like a lot of people are like, oh, it's been all these years. I'm not gonna meet anybody else, or they start coming up with these excuses, and it's just like I definitely was in there, and I sometimes yeah. am still now. Like I yeah, that. like I'm like, is that the best I could have done? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. like when you step out and you try to date just a little bit, it's like, oh my god, like yeah. I don't want to deal with the new stuff. Like these men are weird. What's your favorite color? All those. I don't oh. want. I'm, I'm, when are we getting married? Are you rich? <laughs> Or what? Like, let's get to the important things. Yeah. <laughs> Please. What's your favorite color? I don't have it in me. I don't. I just yeah. want to be. I want to wake up married. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. where I am with it right now. Like I just don't. And then it's, yeah. <sighs> these men aren't able to do anything. <sighs> yeah. And if you find one, like you just really have to. That's another thing. I feel like some people, like depending on where you are in your life, you can accidentally be like the toxic one because you're not you're not ready to like take on the good of somebody else. Like I have been, I'm literally still unlearning things from just my past wife. people. Like, um, let's see. So for example, I just feel like I like to do for people like a lot. Mm -hmm. That's me. I love to do for people. That's me. I, can, I identify. Yeah. So it's just like, don't be like, Oh, I can't do this for you because so-and-so I did this for so-and-so and they did this to me. Like, this is a completely new person. You have to shed that skin when you start getting into these new relationships. So, yeah. you think, yeah. do you think you are like that? That's happened to you where like you meet yeah. a new guy and you hold back from like the person mm -hmm. that you are? Yeah, I've held back or like I've dated someone before that made I'm more money than me. Uh, <laughs> he like, he made more money than me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I would normally want. Like I would want for my man to make more money than me. Unapologetically, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, but I was just starting out in my career and I just felt like everything that I did, he like chastised me for it. It kind of made me feel inferior Ooh. because he was at this certain level. And 
that's something I had to like unlearn. I'm like, I am good enough. Mm. This is not imposter syndrome. Some things are, but like, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm here for. I never, you know, I literally did not think of that as being imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. but it absolutely is. Like, I definitely talked about that in one of my other vlogs, like yeah. feeling like, okay, I shouldn't even be dating right now because like the type of guy that I'm saying I want and you know, this is, this is the man I want. I feel like I'm not even ready to like, do you know what I mean? Like, will he yeah. even see me? Exactly. But that is imposter syndrome. Yeah. I did not think of that because, like, we don't necessarily need to be making the same dollars, but mm -hmm. it's like, I'm hella smart. I'm literally about my business. I literally do what I need to do. Yeah. It's fire. <laughs> um, I think it's just, yeah. for me, it's like I do have a lot of stuff to offer. So yeah. why am I trying? I am imposter syndrome. I'm in a great relationship now, and it's like, thank God. But prior to so happy for you. Thank you. What do you feel like you hold back in this relationship, if you do? Um, I don't think I hold back anything, but I will say that like my mom, very strong, very strong black woman. Mm. Like, even down her profession, my mom um, is a retired detective. Oh, so, wow, okay. Yeah. And my so, mom is a, <laughs> a retired engineer. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. see like when you're in these fields, it's like, first of all, engineering, there's not many women, mm -hmm. let alone yeah. black women. So mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I'm here. I came to do what I need to do. Same for um, police work. So I just saw a woman who was like, she handled it. My dad was very much there. My parents are still married and everything, okay. but my mom just handled it. It was mm -hmm. like, I always knew growing up, if you want to do something right or have something done right, just do it yourself. Oh, so okay. now so you're very, very independent. <laughs> yeah. Like you get it done. Yeah. If you're not waiting on somebody else, yeah. I've been feeling lately, it's like, wow, am I too independent almost now? Like, you know, of all the things that I've had to unlearn and this last really hard, toxic relationship that I've gotten out of and like all these things that I did by myself to get to where I am now, I'm very self-sufficient mm -hmm. and like almost sometimes a little hyper aware to like not fall into those same traps again. Getting into a healthy relationship is not finding someone who doesn't trigger you. Uh -huh. It's to find someone who is safe for you to be triggered by. Yes. Like you're you're never going to not be triggered, right? In a good yeah. relationship. Jackson. 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 Bone. <laughs> These are the only type of men I attract. So honestly, honestly. Yeah, so it's, you have to find someone who is a safe space for you to yeah. be triggered in. So I think that's mm -hmm. what you're feeling. Like it's like you're you're feeling like you're able to. Yeah. And like, yeah, for me, I just really, you know, and I was talking about this with another friend, like I've never had that. Mm -hmm. Not in my home. Like I've never experienced a healthy relationship, nor have I seen one. Yeah. So there, I I cannot wait for the day that mm -hmm. I can like, like yeah. I can rest on someone, like I yes. can whatever. Cause right now I just feel like I am me, myself, and that. So I got yeah. it. And it's, it's motherfucking tiring. Yeah. It's, it's, it's tiring AF, yeah. but I'm hopeful. Yeah, I am oh, too. Maybe not while I live in Charlotte. Personally, mm -hmm. I think it's VV rare, your situation. I think I have to literally oh, leave yeah. America. <laughs> no, like, like dead yes. ass, I think I have to move to Europe in order to find my husband. Yeah, prior to this, I thought like, oh, I'm gonna meet my man when I'm on vacation somewhere. Definitely not Charlotte, you know? How were you, how <laughs> were you looking for men before? Not looking for men, yeah. but like, what was your method? Like, what are your yeah. do's and don'ts? I guess that you learn from looking for um, dating. So or being in the dating pool, I should say. I feel like if I was dating at this moment, I would I would absolutely okay, so here's the funny thing. I feel like definitely you heard like don't find your man in the club or whatever. Everyone uh -huh. heard that. But I would say the gym. I would say church. And vacations. I honestly That's where you would date? Yeah. I feel like men at the gym, assholes. Really? Or like very vain. Uh-huh. And I'm not going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and then what's a to church? I have honestly never heard of a relationship starting in church mm -hmm. where the man is not a literal insane cheater. Mm -hmm. Like womanizer mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever, hiding behind the guise of Christ. Yeah. Or like the church you go to, he has already dated several other girls in that church. Oh, so yeah. it's like, that could be a thing. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just never heard of a successful we met in church relationship, have you? <sighs> like, I've never heard of one. You know, and it's funny because I've never met guys in either of these places, but when I go to these places, I'm like, 
oh, like, he looks like a nice person for mm -hmm. one of my friends or something mm -hmm. like that. And when I would go to the gym with my friends, now, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in the gym. I get very intimidated. You just be like, but do you come here often? <laughs> I want to say too, like, I hate it when people are like, physical appearances and everything. I don't think it's everything, but if we're being honest, that's the first thing that you see. Yeah, like let's 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 keep it about. I yeah. definitely yeah. I'm a yeah. very visual person, so I don't I don't really Absolutely. I don't really buy into that. I, I yeah I agree with you. I don't really buy into that at all. Yeah, I feel like it's just normal. What I will say is though, like as you get older and like the wrinkles come in and the hair starts falling out, all that shit that we don't want to happen happens. Yeah, you, need, you to still need to like the inside of that yeah. person too. But I yeah. still do need to be attracted to yeah. that, like period. I mean, there's a balance in everything, right? Yeah. I feel like before, yes, I was going for like outside and I'll make the inside work even though I know the inside is like rotten. I hate, uh, or I didn't know it was rotten. I thought I could work with it. I thought I could fix it. But mm -hmm. now obviously I'm looking for both. Like you need to be attracted to, yeah. attractive to me somewhat. But I also know that that's not the only thing I need to look yeah. for. Like that's not my go. Yeah. It's like you're attractive, but what about, mm -hmm. but what about, and yeah. then we can go. But before I feel like definitely I'd be like, oh, he's fine girl. Exactly. We'll deal with the red flags later. Or yeah. things that weren't even red, or I didn't recognize his red flags. We'll deal with it later. We'll work yeah. through it. But I'm like, now I definitely know never again. Girl. I do not do that. I'm a G, she's no cry. Oh, period, her. <laughs> What's your sign again? I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait. You're sad. Libra came in the middle of Scorpio and Virgo, y'all. Yes, to balance things out. Yeah, because we look like too much on our own. We're. Don't. <laughs> don't get me started. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Libra came in and saved everybody. Oh, Lord. <laughs> we came in and saved everybody. We literally are the balance oh, to everything. Lord. So we literally know, do like all we do, all we know how to do is come in and make things better. Oh my God. I mean, well, until it's, really it's time bad. to like make a decision. <laughs> Who attacked me? Please, <laughs> let me tell you something. I'm very decisive. I, mean, I don't know what, okay, what am I indecisive about? I guess I, mm, what looks like indecisiveness in a Libra mm -hmm. is just us being good at, mm, I'm not flipping it, but I'm telling the truth. We're good at too many things. We're multi hyphenated. Like, so one week I'm really interested in this, and then uh -huh. next week I'm interested in something else. To the lesser sign, they think that we're like flaky or just like, you never know what you want, but it's like, no, 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 I have many interests, mm -hmm. and I'm actually good at many things. Yeah. So that's what looks like indecisiveness. And the rest of it is like, who the hell knows what they want to eat when you're asked, what do you want to eat? <laughs> so don't put that on me. Don't put that on us, Libra. I feel like. Well, I really resonate with the um, multi-hyphenated things. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of things just because I like a lot of things. Like, and isn't that the problem with content creation too? You feel like you have to only represent yes. one side of you. It's really it's hard so and difficult. really difficult. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult. It takes the fun out of like creating to create, like yeah. being a real creator. Like I only, sometimes I feel like on my Instagram, I, I feel like I'm pushed to only talk about motherhood. Uh -huh. Even when motherhood is the last freaking thing I want to talk about. Yeah. What are your deal breakers? Top three deal breakers. Woo! Top three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if you don't want kids, it's just not going to happen. Okay. I want like two or three. Um, if you're not Christian, it's just not going to work. Because at that point, it's like, we're absolutely not equally yoked. Like, yeah. you don't want kids and you're not Christian. Yes. That's just not work, gonna work. Um, and I would say the third one would be a tie between, Jackson is tearing that stick up. <laughs> would be a tie between not wanting to get married or um, maybe one of those I don't see an importance in marriage, just a piece of paper. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. A tie between that and then like political mm. choice. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this. Like, I don't hate Republicans, but I do hate people that like far support right. Trump or that mm, far right. Yeah, that's just like extremist, and that's just a whole different type of person. So I guess what I'm trying to say is. I want to date somebody who's a Trump supporter. <laughs> Controversial. She yeah. Said it first, yes. I mean, what about you? it is what it is. Damn. The whole time I was like, I'm trying to listen, but I'm also trying to think of my top three because 
I know I'm coming next, okay. Yeah. I should absolutely know this by now. Like I should be able to state it. So my, t what, what the hell is the question? See, I'm nervous. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what the the top three deal breakers? Okay, top three deal breakers. My first is oh, I know my top three deal breakers. My number one, someone who is not generous. Okay, I feel like you know it's so easy to be like someone who makes more money than me is a little bit easy because as we can see, all these billionaires, all these whatever, even not billionaires, but men who are just making a lot of money, it does mm -hmm. not necessarily equal better relationship. Oh yeah. Poor India is going through it Yeah. behind that man, right? He buys her whatever, but like, Dirk be doing Dirk, okay? Yeah. So I don't want that. What I want is a man who is generous, meaning he does not necessarily need to be making more money than me financially, but he does understand to give freely what he can give. Uh huh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a selfless person. A selfless person, a generous person. So mm -hmm. if you're not generous, that's a deal breaker for me. Um, the second one uh, is, can I say the financial thing? It is a deal breaker for me to, like, I definitely don't want to go into another relationship with someone that I'm carrying mm -hmm. in any way. In any way, I won't even entertain it for five freaking seconds. Yeah. I won't even, well, we can work together now and you know, you'll mm -hmm. get there when you, you know, you're gonna get there. No, 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 yeah. I don't want a project. I want a, you are there, you're doing it. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. And then the third thing is someone who is um, kind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like, kind, like, like kind, in the face of adversity still. Like, so mm -hmm. if there's like an issue that we're having or whatever, I think that's a big thing for me. Like, I'm gonna wait till our first argument. Yeah. For me to really be like, oh, I wanna be with this person. Okay. Like, I wanna see how they act when they're mad. Yes. Because yes. that's, I feel like those are the things that remove the mask when you're in a fight, mm -hmm. when the, when you're in a money, a tight money situation. Uh -huh. And like other things like political, religious yeah, yeah, yeah. things. Like, but those things really show you how, who somebody's insides mm -hmm. are. So like someone who is kind in the in, in a tough situation, yeah. in a hard situation, because who child. Girl, that's the truth right there. That, that, that was heavy because you don't, like all this stuff, like we glamorize all these people's relationships, just financial, like just being human. And we just don't know mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. they're actually dealing with. What that like? What does it look like underneath that mask? Like exactly. I need to know. Yeah, kind is a choice every time. So I want mm -hmm. to wait and see, like when the cho like when Girl. the crossroads comes and you have a choice, who are you going to be? Right. Are you going to choose the yeah. kind, or are you going to really let it out? Mm -hmm. Here's to that. <laughs> Girl. <For sure. laughs> I mean, you said to me at the beginning and you didn't like really go into it, where you were like, don't overstep, don't overplay your position. Yeah. What uh, uh, like. I found, have I ever played my position? I don't think I've ever overplayed my position, but what I do do is like, act like I, 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 yeah, I already know. I, I, I don't need to date. I know this is for me or not. And I'm like, girl, stop doing that. Yeah. Stop doing that. So I never overplay my position, but let's talk about overplaying your position. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's just, it's so easy. Like when you find that person you want to be with, just to be like, I want to do everything for them. Mm -hmm. Everything. Before like, you're committed. Yeah. Before they commit. Right. Mm -hmm. Or even like before y'all and committed can be like boyfriend and girlfriend. But in, in my case, well, not my case because I don't experience mm -hmm. this, but like I don't want to do wifely duties for your for boyfriend. boyfriend. Yeah. Period. Like because I still want to be able to look oh. forward. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> I want to be able to look forward to like all the like doors that marriage unlocks versus putting all that out in the forefront and then we get married and then what like the spark is out because I've given you like everything years of this already yeah like what? I want you to have something to look forward to once like you what? get married like like oh for like a threesome oh you great talk about it we're not doing that <laughs> I was not attacking your mother. She wants a threesome and we were talking about Oh no, man. I don't want to give up all my little marriage secrets and stuff. Cause I heard the married life is lit. Girl, people be talking married. about all this stuff that they be doing. Like what? Like, married life is lit. 
That's what What's I heard. Going on? If you're not ugly, I am single. <laughs> and I'm ready to be married. So what do you what what have you heard? Like so I know a couple of people who are younger than me that are married. That's and depressing as AM. Yes. I'm so sorry. Like being married before 33 mm -hmm. is ridiculous to me. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And it's even more ridiculous when I hear that you're married be below 26. Girl, they're literally like 24 years old. Right. I'm like, no tea, no shade. You will be divorced before you're 40. Oh! Like, no tea, no shade. Ooh. I mean, like, you're not the, like, it's very rare that you are the same. And if you are, ooh. Yeah. Like, you're not, the, you're not even, you, you barely hit your, like, who yeah. you are. Thinking who I was back at 24, 25, like, I wasn't, I'm, I absolutely wasn't ready. Like, I would box myself. <laughs> into, like, me looking back at her right now, like, we would never get along. Yeah. Like, please. So, for me to really think that I'm gonna lock it down, like, yeah. how people say it's like leaving the party at nine o'clock. Uh huh. Getting married at that age, where there's so much life to discover and to do and to be yeah. unencumbered. Yeah. yeah. I, I find that so insane when people are like, no, I got married, I'm 24. I'd be like, this is why everyone, when everyone was like, on the ultimatum and they were like 22, like, oh my God. Or even true. people are married at first sight. Oh yeah. Where I feel like you'd be like 23. I've just been looking forever for the, forever. Forever. You like, just got here. You didn't even get out of college. You good. just what got you here. You were born yesterday. <laughs> what is, what's yeah. going on? Oh, yeah. Do you know what your attachment style is? Mm-mm. I don't, I feel, no. I'm an, I, I have an anxious attachment style. Really? Yeah. Like, like so, I, like you attach to people when you're anxious. Like, I would, like, how does this work? We're gonna look into it. But I, I, I want to see if I can find yours. Is there one called the trauma? Is. Anxious attachment style manifests as high anxiety about relationships and connections in our lives. Typically, desirous of relationships and tends to give a lot um, and settle a lot to make a relationship work. When they feel threatened, they try to control the situation. Oh, yeah, so I'll try to do the most that I can to fix and control and it seems like overbearing when I feel like the person is pulling away from me or they're uh -huh. not living up to what they said that they would do Okay, or things like that. Yeah, um, and usually I don't think there's anything wrong with that attachment style mm -hmm. If again, you're with a safe person. Yeah, but people tend to have a uh, anxious attachment style because of lack of parenting or un being under parented mm -hmm. so you're usually like from your home life you usually have grown up with parents who weren't paying attention to you you didn't feel like you could express yourself or you felt like you grew up in a chaotic home environment mm -hmm. and so you want you seek you seek safety from other people rather than yourself okay um you seek guidance from other people rather than yourself so you want like a leader you want someone yeah. to like tell you what to do or whatever you know and i feel like for me it's collided mm -hmm. whereas like i do seek all those things i do seek partnership i i, I don't know if it's a story i tell myself or if it's the truth uh -huh. but i always say i thrive in relationships i don't know like i feel yeah. like i i can handle everything by myself i do everything by myself but when i'm when i feel like someone loves me like when i feel in love i'd be like oh like sign me up i can be the president tonight yes. i just feel like i can do whatever so i'm yeah. not sure if that's a story i tell myself or if that's my attachment style mm -hmm. but you know, unfortunately, because I have not had a calm, safe, or just like a, a you know, before I moved here to be able to like settle, settle myself down yeah. and calm my nervous system down, I have not been able to, uh, or I've always been attracted to avoidant attachment styles. So those people, mm -hmm. I don't think they prey on people with my attachment style, but avoiding attachment style, you will see that with people who are like narcissistic or whatever. Yeah. And so what that does is starve someone like me uh -huh. who is looking at every moment to feel like, are we still in this together? Yeah. Are we still? Yeah. And so like that was a huge, huge issue for me and my ex mm -hmm. where it was like, I need reassurance. I need words of affirmation. And like, it was almost like, it made them horny to hold it back. And so it would make me then like yeah. tense up, like tense up in the way I show that is like trying to control things that are without, mm -hmm. not within my locus. So yeah. that's my attachment style. Wow. But wait, you can read the other one. So there's I feel like there's avoidant, uh -huh. there's disorganized, and there's secure. Anyone can get to secure. Mm -hmm. Well, here you could read them and see, see if you identify. Because I'm already thinking I'm anxious, but I feel like it might change depending on who you're with. Like, yeah, I mean it's like. For me, I feel like, I said this earlier today, like I don't feel like I need to change my attachment yeah. style, like I said before, I feel like I need to change the person I continue yeah. to 
leave, put in, put myself in the hands mm -hmm. of. I'm mm -hmm. always mm -hmm. going to need someone who understands that I like words of affirmation. Yeah. I like to be affirmed. I like to be reassured. Mm -hmm. So if you're dating someone who makes you feel like they'd rather swallow a couch whole than affirm you, you're always gonna feel like something's wrong with you. Always. Like I don't like I don't like it. Okay, so disorganized spice of lifer. Um experiences both a desire for and a fear of relationships intimacy and intimacy simultaneously mm -hmm. um under duress they may demonstrate mixed signals appear to become disassociated or they might also become emotionally flooded and out act out unpredictably that is a sagittarius and definitely an aquarius okay avoidant rolling stones um, typically suspicious of relationships and intimacy in general, tends to put distance between themselves and a partner. When they feel threatened, they typically withdraw from the situation. I've dealt with that for a long time in someone else, and it was the worst because no matter what you do, like you just can't break them. Like you can show how much you deserve to be with them and how good you are for them and you're just do not always care. going to feel like you have to and then once you meet that first goal post the second and third that they set mm -hmm. they keep moving it back yeah moving it back moving it back you're never gonna be good enough yeah for the avoidant attachment style you're not um secure cornerstone so enjoys relationships and closeness but also appreciates alone time lord this is me and separate or uh, oh separateness does not feel an overwhelming fear of abandonment nor fear of com um, compromise or being over controlled or suffocated. Yeah. Um, so people like that, so like yeah. pe people like that understand that they are complete first. Like yeah. they don't need a partner to be like, oh, he completes mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. a, a secure person wouldn't say that. They understand yeah. that I complete myself. I am responsible for myself. Mm -hmm. My partner can enhance certain feelings I already yes. bring to myself, but they don't. My happiness doesn't depend on that. Right. And girl, I've graduated to this one though. Because yeah. Because I started off as ancient open hearts because I was dealing with avoidant wow. and disorganized wow. lifestyles or attachment styles. And so I've graduated to the security part because I feel like I'm with someone who makes me feel safe. But that's the key. Like, that's, I love why I'm not having to cry. Girl, it took me about eight something. years. That is, I know, I love that for you, bro. Thank you. I love that for you because that is, that is, that is a huge, huge thing. No, so you said that you, you know, it's important to you that the person that you're with is like Christian or mm -hmm. whatever. Like, do you feel like you prayed at all? Things have been mm -hmm. coming out. Yeah. Or like, you know, it's like really popular right now because of Oprah's, it didn't come out yet. I don't think her interview came out yet, but she interviewed um, Viola. Uh-huh. And Viola was talking about how she, someone, uh, her friend told her, go home right now and you need to pray mm -hmm. about the man that you want. Like ask God, you ask God for anything else you need to be asking for the man that you want. And be yeah. specific. He said, be specific down to the nitty mm -hmm. gritty of what mm -hmm. you want. And she went home and did that and then found her husband. Yeah. Do you feel like you did that at all before you found your boyfriend? Um, yes, but it wasn't directly before. So like before my boyfriend and I started dating, I was in a really like, I was just with a really trifling person. Mm. And that ended in February. My boyfriend and I met in May. February to May, I was like, I don't want to see a man, talk to a man, hear from a man, nothing. Mm -hmm. Like I just want to be left alone. Mm -hmm. um, but my praying started after that relationship ended in February. I would just cry and I'm just like, I want someone who like reciprocates who I am or mirrors me, like somebody patient, someone who will love me. Like mm -hmm. just my looks aren't just like the end all be all for mm -hmm. them. So I would kind of like talk about that and just like talk to myself like at night, pray, or sometimes I'll cry myself to sleep and just like mm -hmm. talk about what I want. So I think that's kind of how like, my prayers manifested mm -hmm. in this. Um, but I also like absolutely was not looking like at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I totally understand. I feel you. Yeah. I hear you. Um, I feel like for me, I know I should, mm -hmm. but I haven't. Mm -hmm. and I don't know what I'm holding on to. I feel like this is actually pretty emotional for me, but I just feel like, you know, for me, I'm like, I'll be 33 this year. And it's not that I don't know I deserve better. I feel like I absolutely know inside and out that I deserve better than what yeah. I've been through, than what I've recently been through. But I also feel like 
For some reason, I feel a little hopeless. Really? I, yeah. Like, I, I just. Oh, okay, cry. Oh, girl, we start crying. Yeah, we gonna I be crying together. No, I'm gonna try to pull it together. <laughs> but I do feel that. Like, it's been, it's kind of been dominating any other positive feeling for uh -huh. me right now. I feel like. I don't know. It's probably sound stupid, but it's really how I feel. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have gone through something that literally tried to kill me. Like this ex past experience, like I am lucky to be alive. Mm -hmm. Like that's not exaggerating on any front. And I feel like because I survived that, and I. I don't know, I just feel like my life feels like now I'm just an example for my daughter mm -hmm. or an example for my friends or other people who have gone through it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm just a symbol of what not to do. Uh, and not, and like I don't see for myself. Ugh, girl, I don't see for myself that someone else is gonna like. Lovely again. Like I just don't yeah. see, like I just feel like, you know, my daughter's still pretty young mm -hmm. and I just feel like all my time goes to her and a lot of my healing or whatever that I'm still going through I feel like I'm very hyper focused on making sure that I fix whatever is with me or I yeah. understand overly understand where I went wrong in life so that I can help her not make those same errors or mm -hmm. when she does make those errors that I'm prepared to help her through it yeah and I feel like all of that I wear it like I wear my burden of pull, fixing this mistake and like yeah you know like I just don't ever want to make this mistake again and I mm -hmm. swear to god I feel like anytime I step out of the house or any man like looks at me but it's, it gets, I feel like it's all they see yeah things. yeah I don't know I just literally feel like I'm gonna be single forever <laughs> no like and I I whenever people feel things I'm never like oh don't feel that way because like that's true to you like that's how you're feeling um but I absolutely feel like, like it didn't happen for no reason. Like there's a purpose, girl. You're still living, so you still have a purpose. Like if you were done, we just wouldn't be here, you know? Yeah. So, girl, you got this. You <laughs> got this. We don't even know, like, I, I try to think to myself the same thing. Like, okay, I don't know what's gonna happen to me tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You could win the lottery tomorrow, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. You can meet your husband tomorrow or like next week. We just don't know. So I think just like keep going through that because you're also helping your followers and people who are here. People watch this are gonna be like, what the hell? Like, yeah. So the purpose is real and it's it's bigger than you. So I'm inspired all the time. So I think you should just keep going. You didn't even finish your cheesecake. Girl, I'm so full right now. Oh, okay. Well, it's like, it's the same thing. <laughs> I very much needed it. I've just been like yes. home yeah. and kind of doing me to myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So being able to hang out has really just been like yeah. a blessing. Oh, for sure. No, okay. this and this wasn't by mistake either. Like I literally met Stephanie because I've been cool with Janae for years. Yeah, like, like she I don't even know. She's known Janae before I met Janae. Yeah, yeah. It's been a long time, and I just happened to see. Like her post that y'all went to Atlanta, mm -hmm. and then I was like, Stephanie, Charlotte, wait, I have to meet her. Like, <laughs> what? And mm -hmm. so this also wasn't by mistake. I, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I just like you gotta keep going, keep pushing through this shit. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, girl. I'm yeah. very, very, very much trying. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm not gonna do it. All three of us. Where's your yeah. baby? We're all going to get where we need to be and we're gonna look back at these tapes, mm -hmm. these documentaries basically that we're making and we're just gonna be like, whoa. Yeah. Like we made that shit happen oh, yeah. and God was with us. Absolutely. The entire way. Yes. Did you wanna hug me? I feel like- I did and I was <laughs> like, but I don't know if she's a hugger. I'm a hugger. Girl, cause you, oh, I don't even cry much, but you, like my eyes oh. are just watering. I'm like, oh. I don't know, I got a little emotion. <sighs> But we won't hold you guys anymore. We're actually just going to like watch a little YouTube yeah. ourselves, call it a night, you know, finish our girls' night in. Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching us. Again, I'm Stephanie. <laughs> this is I, I almost forget my uh, name. I'm <laughs> Stephanie. This is Rihanna. 
<laughs> um, make sure you subscribe to her channel as well. She'll have her own version of this video up. Yes. And thank you so much for continuing to come back to my channel. Like this video if you got this far. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye. Bye.